this is important information because if there's a giant web of Islamic terror groups that are pretending that they're not Islamic terror groups, you know, throughout the United States, I believe you said hundreds. Uh, why do you think the media is not reporting this information on a regular basis or at all, even for that matter? Uh, well, because my experience is that the media is on the side of the socialists and the Marxists, and they are not patriotic and they are not um, for the United States. That's the first part of my answer. The second part of my answer, because I just dealt with it uh, last night and the night before, speaking with, uh, you know, we're going to Arizona and, you know, being interviewed by NBC reporters is quite frankly, I, 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 I found them to be quite dumb. And they didn't seem like they were able to, and lazy. I, let me say this, more lazy than dumb. They're lazy. And so, uh, yeah, I'm quite frankly, honestly, I believe there are people in the media who should be indicted too, because there's a point where you can't claim ignorance. Because for years, with some of these reporters and some of these institutions, we have given them information. We have given them the evidence, and they continue to write what they're doing, which means they are wittingly supporting a terrorist organization. What we need to understand is the way you know an Islamic leader is lying is when he's talking to you, when his mouth is moving. Uh, the vast majority of taxi cab drivers in major cities, um, especially in and around airports, are Muslims. That's it. I don't even have to, you don't even need to, uh, you know, this is something like anecdotally everybody knows that travels. And I travel a lot and I take pictures frequently um, of the number of in increasing number of TSA officers that are Sharia adherent Muslims, overtly Sharia adherent. Um, you have an increasing number of uh, baggage handlers and shuttle drivers uh, that are Sharia adherent working at airports and um but the the things that you're asking specifically about are uh hotel managers and uh quick mart uh type 7-eleven type um stores and and venues like that and we are seeing that uh in uh cities especially in the largest cities the top hotels have a manager assistant manager that's a muslim and i know the statistical chance, the statistical probability, for instance, that the top 10 hotels or the top eight hotels in Denver, Colorado, and surrounding area would have a Muslim that's a manager or assistant manager based on the Muslim population, the statistical probability of that is zero unless it's intentional. And then, so it's intentional. And so why would they do that? And the answer is, it's a, this is part of intelligence gathering.